Mark Ronson in the house. Welcome, buddy. I, I always... Congrats. Oh, this. Ah, I guess it's no big deal. It's the first, uh, first annual, yeah. It's a... Yeah, it's kind of a shock to me. May I touch it? No, I'd rather you okay, not. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> How are you doing, bud? I feel good. They feel, isn't this it amazing is, to come out to an audience? This isn't is that, so uh, amazing. And you look so good. Oh, stop. No, no, you, yeah. I've known you for the longest time. And I, I, yeah. was, I, I, I just saw in the papers that you DJed some event. Uh, maybe it was a couple weeks ago. It was a Gucci thing. It was this giant thing. And I, it was your first time out. How did it feel to be DJing in front of people again? It's been a year and almost two yeah, years. Yeah, it's, it's crazy because it's something I've done my entire life since I was 18. And I, I Googled and it said I hadn't DJed for 510 days, and I was terrified. And then I got out, and I was just like, you know, after three songs, the nerves, and I just, it was great, and I loved it. If all things fails, you can always get up and just perform, because uh, who knew that you were in a band, <laughs> I did not know this, called The Whole Earth Mamas. Yeah. Yeah, what happened to these guys? Uh, <laughs> Quest, did you know this? No! What is, Mark? I love that you say that's me for, for my show. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. What was, what was Whole Earth Mamas? What was their vibe? Okay, Whole Earth Mamas was a band. It was my high school band. Um, I didn't particularly like the name, but we were arguing over it before our first gig, and and our lead singer was like, "We're gonna call the Whole Earth Mamas." I was like, "No, we're not. That's a terrible name." Yeah. And then he had the mic, and before our first song, I was like, "Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're the Whole Earth Mamas," and we just looked at each other like, "I guess we're the Whole Earth Mamas." Now. <laughs> what does it mean? What's the meaning behind? I, I, I think it was at the time, it was like a vegan, hippie, mail order catalog. And I don't know, <laughs> like seriously, like... It does sound like a good name for that. Yeah, yeah, before there was like Whole Foods and all this like trendy stuff, there was like this one, and I think his mom read it, and we were the Whole Earth Mamas. And we got booked for a lot of all-female like lineups and festivals because people thought the whole Earth Mamas, I wonder why, were a group of women. Yeah. So, so, so. <laughs> so you get booked and then you show up and they're like, who, what are these dudes yeah, in here? Yeah. Yeah, like these kind of like super like amazing like all feminist band lineups and we just show up. We were like 15, so no one was gonna like throw crap at us. I, I wanna talk about the, the, you do so much. The podcast, The Fader Uncovered. Yes. Uh, this is uh, you one on one conversation with amazing musicians. Um, who happened to be on the cover of Fader yes. uh, magazine. But how did you uh, get a chance to do this? Well, the Fader came to me. You know, I love the Fader magazine. They always have really cool people on the cover. And they said, do you want to do a thing where you talk to David Byrne, Questlove, Erica Badu, all these great people that have been on the cover of our magazine? So I said, of course. I mean, I, I make music, but I'm also, I think I'm more of a fan of music than somebody who makes it. So the idea of talking and being a nerd and asking David Byrne about the talking heads and American Utopia and all these things is, is so exciting to me. I, I saw a trailer for Watch the Sound uh, with Mark Ronson, and uh, you're talking to Dave Grohl, you're talking to, uh, talking to Paul McCartney. Yes. Which, I mean, I know you for that, but I was like, I, you know, we, we've I met. know. Do you, get, do you get nervous? Of course. I mean, everybody, you must even still get nervous. I mean, you've done so many great uh, sketches with him and all that stuff, but you still get nervous. Of course, I, I'm nervous right now. It's Paul McCartney. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's Paul McCartney. No, I mean but, with Paul McCartney. Oh, yeah, 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 no, yeah. I'm just always nervous. But no, with Paul, but yeah. I mean, you, you, you get in there, this is like you're talking about sampling, you're talking about double tracking, you're talking about yeah. things that we kind of even take for granted yeah. when we hear songs. And you go, what goes on in the background that's so interesting? Exactly. This show is about the things and the sounds and the tools that, like, revolutionize music. So, you know, you think of a song like Pony by Genuine. It's a great song if you sat with an acoustic guitar and you went, I'm just a bachelor. Like, it would probably be a good song. But when you think of Pony, you think of, what? Yeah. What? What? Wow. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yes. that's when sound is great. It's exactly. the greatest. You yeah. do it. You're better than well, no, that's what, no, I'm not better than you. Okay. I'm, no. We're equal. <laughs> and, uh, but, but. it's just that, it's not me, you know, they mean nothing, they mean nothing. Um, no, but what did, what did Paul like? Did Paul like the finished product? Well, yeah, so anyway, so I, yes, so as the show was, like, finishing up, I was, I knew that Paul was going to see his scenes to see if he was happy with it. Because he's Paul McCartney. He gets to just be like, hey, you, you, you better not make me look like an idiot. <laughs> so It's tough I, to do, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm sitting at home one day, and I look, and my phone vibrates, and I look, and it says, like, whatever dumb thing I have his number saved as in my phone, like, PMC 3000 or something. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Like, he's never called me. I shouldn't even really have his number. 
So, I, so I, and it's a FaceTime, and it's 9 a.m., it's crazy. So I answer, and he's like, hey, Mark. Like, you know, like, you, you can do the thing. Hey, Mark, good morning, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he just looks cool, right? He looks like a golden god. He's yeah, like of course. He's like blowing around and... Yeah. And I'm like, oh, God, he's going to call and tell me that, like, he hates the show. I'm going to have to edit it out. The show is ruined. It's not, like, you know, whatever. And he's like, so I saw the show. And I'm like, yeah, wait mm -hmm. for it. This is going to be terrible. And he's like, it's pretty cool. I was like, oh, maybe it's not going to be, like, as bad as they thought. And he's like, yeah, I really love what you said about me and sampling and how you linked me to Public Enemy and this and that. And I was like, oh. He watched it. Yeah. And, <gasps> it, and it was just cool that he dug it. And then he was like, we stopped talking about the show. And he's like, so what are you doing today? And I was like, whoa. And now I'm just shooting the, yeah. with Paul McCartney. Wow. And, uh, and then... Uh, what did you talk about? Well, I said, well, I'm going to the studio. I didn't know what to say. So he's, he's like, well, how's that going? I'm like, well, you know, I'm kind of in love and I'm happy. So I've never written music like that, you know, when you're, from, when you're happy. And he's like, why don't you write that then, you know? I was like, what? He's like, I'm in love and I'm happy. So I'm like scribbling the notes. Like yeah, Paul McCartney oh God, said, Paul McCartney right this wrote, well, yeah. uh, uh, any other lines, you know? Yeah, uh, exactly. And, and so, I, so I went and I jumped in the shower. I hope I don't get in trouble for telling the story. But I, and I look at my phone and there's like a little voice recording on my phone from Paul McCartney. And he's sung like a little bit of this song to tell me to go make the song I'm in, I'm love, in love and I'm happy. And I'm happy. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. that is the greatest story I've ever heard. That's unbelievable. It's crazy. So it, I'm dropping it on Spotify. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Apple Music. That is, uh, uh, yeah, exactly. I want to, uh, I want to show a clip. Uh, everyone should check this out. Uh, here's Mark Ronson and Paul McCartney in Watch the Sound. Take a look. When you went into the studio, the early Beatles stuff, you're just there to be the best band that you can be. And then you start to discover making the studio an instrument and then become as involved with the tech stuff as you were with the songwriting and the mm. playing of the instruments. Yeah. When we arrived at Abbey Road, it was post-war. So the engineers would have lab coats. We were kids. We couldn't even come in the main entrance. Yeah. We came in the tradesman's entrance. Did you hear all this story? Yeah. Mark Ronson, everybody, watch the sound with Mark Ronson. Come to Apple TV Plus on July 30th. Hey, hey.